you know, I went to diarrhea. <laughs> and it, I think it was the, the gluey uh, pancake. Uh, taste, you know, a little bit weird. And, uh, and it wasn't really tasty, actually. And I think maybe they put some, like, gutta oil in it and, uh, you know, uh, anyway. Buddha are hats. So you see Buddha uh, statues all along this uh, walking way. So 500 and it's very much. In Buddhism, an arhat or arahant is one who has gained insight into the true nature of existence and has achieved nirvana. According to Mahayana Buddhist traditions, have used the term for people far advanced along the path of the enlightenment, but who may have not reached the full Buddhahood. All right, so the Lingying Temple. The, uh, actually, it's on the top list of the Master Sea of Hangzhou, and uh, it's done. So, it was quite entertaining, but it consumed a lot of energy to climb up to the top of the, this place. It seems this is a very huge uh, sightseeing place. Um, uh, I bought, look at this, I bought, I bought, uh, it's the, the tofu, uh, they call it dogan. So I'm going to uh, eat something because I'm really hungry. Yeah, so it is tasty, a little bit spicy, but um, they, they cook it into a, a really nice way. The Lingying Simic area is actually a huge piece of land in Hangzhou which contains so many Buddhism temples. The Lingying Temple complex shows in my videos are just the most famous and well-known temples, such as this Yongfu Temple is just located hundreds meters away which also has 1,600 years of the history. It was founded during the Southern Dynasty era, but it is ignored by the majority of the tourists. So this is another temple, and uh, not really interesting. I was uh, get inside, and uh, it's quite normal. And I um, decided to just to get out and uh, uh, see what else I should see. finally decide to climb the Lingying Peak because the hill has its own uniqueness of where the stone Buddhas carved on the mountain cliffs. I thought it is worth to hit on the top of the mountain and take a snap there. Guys, I'm really exhausted. It's almost like running 5 kilometers. <sighs> tiring but found something new a little stone pool over here and uh, a stone carved uh, picture back to me it's called two servants serve to the Buddha but 
the, the head of the Buddha is chopped off and uh, as you can see on the right side this is uh, two servants and uh, carry some uh, food for their master anyway let's moving on well so now I'm on the top of this uh, little peak hill and uh, you can see this is uh, the, the like top sign like behind me and uh, this one this place isn't very high it's like 200 meters high but it made me a little bit huff and puff but anyway I just uh, made the mission accomplished and as you can see people like uh, having a short relaxing over this place and not too much things there's only like one pavilion for for the tourists to have a rest anyway cheers guys This uh, place called the Ling Ying Si. It is uh, almost okay. finished, so I'm heading back to where I came from and uh, try to get my car. And uh, let's uh, heading to the city center and try to find out the hotel and checking. And later on, I'll find you some like snack street. All right, guys. So finally, I'm uh, arriving the hotel, and uh, so something really. Uh, annoying that happened to me because you know Hangzhou has a so-called like a uh, restricted area during the peak time the, the car plate from other provinces and cities are not allowed to get in but my hotel is located in this area the restricted uh, time is from uh, 4 uh, 30 to uh, 6 30 so I was like driving all around the city and waiting for uh, the time limited uh, lifted. So yeah, th it is what it is. It's uh, quite annoying and I'm really tired. I was uh, stuck on the road for one hour. And finally I got this spacious room. Actually, it is uh, quite big actually. And I'm, I'm quite happy with it. You know how much is it? It's just 200 RMB, which literally means 30 USD dollars. So it is a very good price for one night Compared to the Scandinavian countries and you have to pay 1000 uh, to to get a room per night and This place is literally like uh, nothing, you know, and uh, So they do get TV A big mattress because uh, I booked a, a room without uh, windows so no window at all here you got uh, like a, a little mini uh, uh, fridge so this is the the sparkling water uh, so five five might be for each and uh, yeah uh, I'm, I'm i'm looking for something for a drink actually and uh, so this is the uh, a cabinet or whatever uh, you call it so here this is the bathroom and uh, quite clean right it's not like a, a very dodgy dirty uh, place look at this it's good it's good and uh, you know this this one is heating so and it has something to wash your ass <laughs> So it is a Japanese uh, uh, toilet, and anyway, and uh, this is the this is the shower room, and uh, it's quite big. You can take a bath, or you can take a shower. It's up to you, and uh, there's nothing to complain at all. And 200 RMB, I'm really happy. And if you want a room has a window. You just need to pay 220 so I like saved 
20 RMB or something. So I'm going to another place. It's like a, a whole street of food and uh, I'll go there soon, but I need the rest. Cheers. Now I just grab a cab and it cost me like a 13 RMB and now I'm already arriving to to this uh, called Hefang Jie, it's Hefang Street, and uh, it's a uh, it's a food and a snack street, supposedly. But uh, you know, it looks not that uh, uh, hustling and bustling. But uh, you do see like restaurants all over the place, but not too many people actually. But anyway, I'm going to find out the the most uh, like busiest place to have some kind of food to try it out. I ordered this uh, like uh, dumpling soup and uh, not really sure. Oh, it's really hot. You know, in the ancient uh, Southern Song Dynasty, here is the capital of the Southern Song Dynasty. Although um, the Song Dynasty was defeated by the Jing, um, so they fled to uh, to the southern part of China. And uh, yeah, so uh, just a little bit of history for you guys. This is Hefang Street. It was the main business street and market since Song Dynasty. I randomly found the bronze sculpture art gallery. It really exhibits some interesting copper artifacts, such as copper Buddhas. Leifeng Pagoda made in copper, half-melted dragon chair for ancient emperors, and many. <music> is actually really impressive a lot of artifacts like uh, it's really uh, a good collection of the copper uh, statues and uh, Buddha statues etc remember this place it's really amazing uh, and it's free let's check out what, what do we have I bought like uh, two kebab sticks and uh, it's lamb and uh, it's massive, right? You know, they use this kind of like a uh, uh, wooden uh, sticks to to put the meat on it and it's quite awesome and, uh, I'm going to try it the meat isn't uh, very hard to bite actually it's tender 15 RMB for one stick and uh, two totally 30 so it's around like uh, five, 5 uh, USD so it's quite reasonable actually <laughs> Oh, this is something like pancake. It, I think this is uh, some kind of like Thailand food, and uh, it's a pancake. They put some like chili sauce on it, and uh, like it, this whole gloomy thing. It's supposed to to be like delicious, <laughs> and you know it. I have tried it before, and uh, this one I don't know. I have to test it out. But uh, I asked them to put like less chili sauce, but uh, I don't know. They, they just put uh, one soup of chili sauce, and. Uh, Okay, 
can I say? Um, it is okay. Uh, but I think it is lower than my expectations. It is still hot and gluey, but I would like to order some like uh, steam the dumpling instead of this one. 20 MB for this uh, coconut juice, a big cup. Uh, it's a little bit uh, pricey, but uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it is uh, affordable anyway. Like a score for 10 scores, and this one is 5, so it's just a so-so.